Hey yo, what's up boys? I have made the worst financial decision of my life. I just bought an old BMW. So, I didn't actually buy this car right now. It's been a few months, but um, I decided it's time to uh, return to YouTube and uh, what a, I think it's the perfect way to make my return. Without further ado, I'm going to show you what this car once was and then I'm going to show you why uh, it's not it's not looking too good in some places, but in others it's uh, pretty fucking good. But... So this bad boy is actually a 2001 E46 325i, so not the saddest shit out there, a 320 or a diesel. So a little bit about it. This once was a very highly specced E46. It's a full factory M Sport package car. It's got that Bizeon headlight. It's got a very rare option actually for these cars. It's a, I don't know how well you can see it on the camera, but it's a tinted, factory tinted, purple tint windscreen, which looks pretty fucking cool. It also has rain sensors, headlight sensors. All those magical things that work for some reason in a 2001 car. Now onto the inside where uh, it's quite cool. The interior, the interior color, one of my favorite things about this car is the brown leather, which I absolutely love. I prefer the red slightly over this. Not, I still think these look very cool, even though they're not in the best condition. Uh, they are full Recaro, obviously. Original, good look. Uh, also electric back support movements, whatever. So to those with keen eyes, you might have noticed this thing has flappy panels, but that's a manual gearbox. So this car actually came from the factory with a SMG transmission, uh, but they've just swapped, not swapped because it's the SMG transmission is absolutely the same as the manual one. They've just installed the linkages and whatnot for it to have a manual gearbox you can actually see right there um that is the indicator of what gear you're in on and what not but it has flappy paddles obviously it has full m uh what do you even call what do you call these things i don't know what you call these things but it's got a full m package of those the car is completely m packaged except the steering wheel for some reason not m wheel and no buttons this car is like very nicely specced, it's a very high spec E46, especially comparing to those in the used car market, which are piece of shits, and mostly have no options, just traction control, and that's it. But this, for some reason, doesn't have cruise control or buttons and whatnot, uh, but we'll fix that one day. So, the car has Harman Kardon high quality speaker system. Look at this shit, it's got it's got a lot of uh, little speakers and whatnot. It's got a little button, which is pretty cool. Uh, that's also another reason why I really wanted this car. And another cool feature of this car, which I, you know, it's useless in reality, but I quite like, is the... It's got an electric rear shade, which I often play with and it actually works without any issues which is you know it's cool for a old boy like this uh obviously he is seats uh, which work absolutely amazing as well so uh obviously this car at some point at, a, at the beginning of its life was a very expensive highly spec e46 but now it's an e46 that me some dickhead decided to buy for 2,000 euros, so quite cheap. Uh, the reasons why it's so cheap, I'm going to show you now. So there's like a lot of things wrong with the car, but also a lot of things right with the car. Uh, I'm going to show you the wrong things because that's more interesting. So first off, the emblem, it's seen better days, definitely seen better days. Um, the install of the kidneys is very shoddy to say the least. If you, the headlight, has been sealed so these two pieces are separate normally but they've been fused together because the car has been in an accident in the front uh, and all of this the, all of this is broken and it doesn't really fit too well um, also a bit of rust popping in here but 
This is this car was a German car. So you might be thinking this shit has rusted to shit. No, underneath the car is perfect. No rust. Uh, it's been coated. It's been cleared. Uh, I specifically looked at these things when I was uh, checking the car out. Uh, speaking of which, this is how the car looked when I bought it. When I went to look at it and subsequently bought it. So it will, you know. You might be thinking, oh wow, that looks very bad, but actually it was very good because I, I could actually see, I could actually see underneath the car and if there was any hidden rust or not. And there wasn't. Now the bad boy. Another big reason why I wanted this car. It's a V25, so a 325i, 190 horsepower and whatnot. Uh, obviously the cover, not in good condition. You, you might be seeing oil. That's not, it's not leaking. That's that's me, that's my fault. I spilled oil while refilling oil because it burns oil, it's a BMW. It's a old BMW and it spills oil. So, you know, that's my fault. It's got, you can see the LPG switches and whatnot. You might notice this, it's very nice looking and new looking because it's a brand new radiator and a brand new expansion tank with a brand new cap because the last one was leaking a lot. Things are up in there, but um, the car, the engine is good, except the oil burning, but hey, I, I, I can live with the oil burning. Brown on silver doesn't look too good. Well, because this is the original color of the car, and this, you know, you can, this is the original knob. This is actually the SMG knob. Uh, for some reason, they've changed the interior trim to this like it has like a, a textured silver so it's not completely poverty spec but it's a uh, pretty shitty look and you might be like why is there nothing here well that's my fault actually that's my fault the trim let me just rummage through all these parts and oil baby you gotta keep the oil right here more parts this is uh it's still here it was my fault well half my fault I was removing this trim so I can remove this trim so I can remove the radio because I wanted to see something on the back of the radio. Well, this thing was fucking glued on. You can see the glue is still here, was there. And I don't know what, who thought this was a good idea. Plus the fake carbon on the um, shift knob trim. Uh, all of this will go. I don't like how this looks and it will make, and I've, I've got plans that I think will look very good for the car. Is. So, something interesting about the exhaust system of this car completely decatted so this car is from Germany I think it was shipped here because it cannot pass the TÜV certification because it doesn't have catalytic converters so they just shipped it to an Eastern European country nice Germany exhaust system has been cut in the middle an M52 rear exhaust section has been mounted an M52 uh, to those that don't know M52s are the older three facelift E46 engines. This is an M54 because I'm a cool gang guy. So I'm going to do a cold start. You can. It's not a cold start. The car is very hot, but I'm going to do a start, I guess. audible but there is a massive rattle in the rear muffler which is absolutely ugly looking I'm going to remove that but there's a, a nice rattle you know it's got this car has its issues but mechanically it's very sorted the suspension is very mint for now for now uh, the Bulgarian roads are not the best in the world so uh, these things they it will take damage so my search for this car was very long it took me four months to find an e46 now you might think where did you go for an e46 not something newer like a, i don't know an e92 or like a skyline or something well because i'm poor uh and this car uh, offers the a, a very very good real wheel drive i specifically wanted a real wheel drive because i'm not a bitch to get an xi it offers a very good real wheel drive sports feeling now i was actually looking for a coupe but the coupe situation is even worse on the Bulgarian car market, the BMW E46 market. This thing, uh, I got lucky with this thing. 
the advert for this car was very shady looking uh, and uh, well the whole situation was very shady but I somehow got lucky and this car I've done 6,000 kilometers on it already and I've got no I've had no issues with it so this will be my uh, comeback video it's a bit awkward I'm not gonna lie I, I've not been in front of a camera in a very long time plus I'm not recording anything in a you know in over a year now and so I need to get back into the groove of things but I hope with this thing plus the Lancia I haven't forgotten about the Lancia it's still alive it's still kicking it's my daily driver when I'm in the city because it's better than this thing in the city um, I hope I can get back on that grind baby hell I don't know maybe some SLRR might come in as well